All right, welcome back. We are just two days away from Mother's Day, and a Northeast Ohio family has an extra special reason to celebrate this year. Lindsay Buckingham shares the story of a woman who overcame a rare pregnancy complication and embodies her personal slogan, high risk, high reward. It's working. He's running away. Make that noise again. Buddy. The sweet sounds <laughs> of these little girls is something Anne Hutchison Hi. will never take for granted. I have two beautiful girls, and I am so grateful for them. That's because her journey to have a family wasn't easy. In 2019, so days after the birth of her daughter Lillian, something wasn't right. And I kept trying to lay down, and... I just, I couldn't. Every time I laid down, I felt like somebody was suffocating me. A call to 911 saved her life. The next thing I know, there were like 10 doctors in the room. And I just started crying because I was like, oh, I was terrified. At just 36 years old, Anne was diagnosed with congestive heart failure. It didn't make any sense to me that that would happen. I was healthy. I had no heart problems. The rare condition develops in pregnant women sometimes, though researchers still aren't sure what causes it. In an instant, Anne went from celebrating her daughter's birth. And then the thought process was, Oh my gosh, am, am I going to die? Fitted with a pacemaker, Anne got better and set her sights on having another child. Doctors cautioned her. Her risk of developing heart failure again was about 30%. Anne said she kept the faith and believed in her doctors at the Cleveland Clinic. My job as a medical professional is to give her the data, give her the evidence, and support her with whatever decision that she wants. Yeah, we're going to have a popsicle. In February, Anne gave birth to her daughter, Charlotte. Everyone is healthy. Good girl. My motto is high risk, high reward. Whenever you see Anne go through this pregnancy and stay stable and deliver a healthy baby and now her life is complete, that's why I do what I do. Anne's message to expecting mothers, trust your gut. Her heart failure symptoms are similar to those of pregnancy. Getting help saved her. Listen to your body after you have a baby. On this Mother's Day, thank you would never be enough. I couldn't feel more grateful for, you know, our family. I don't know that there are words to th say thank you. Um, how do you thank somebody who helped make sure that you're able to live to see your children? I don't know how you thank somebody for that. I never will forget them. They're, they're amazing. Lindsay Buckingham, 3 News.